This slim yacht from the royal hangars of Naboo is not a spacious diplomatic platform for long-range tours and conferences. It is a relatively fast ship suited to discreet getaways. Its security features include a powerful Naboo-style shield system, electronic countermeasures, and a last resort passenger escape capsule. Queen Jamilia's royal starships normally sit idle since she prefers to concentrate on Naboo's domestic affairs, entrusting her external powers to Senator Padme Amidala. The smallest royal yacht is therefore available and ideally suited for Padme's undercover travels as the galaxy's most threatened political target. The yacht serves Padme and Anakin well in their dangerous journey from Tatooine to the neighboring Geonosis system. When nearing Geonosis, Padme and Anakin lower the yacht's shield power to reduce easily detectable energy byproduct emissions. An unshielded or lightly shielded ship passively hurtling down into a planet's atmosphere might be mistaken for a meteorite. Since Geonosis is surrounded by a rocky planetary ring, Anakin guesses correctly that Geonosian scanner technicians are lazy about meteor-like detections. This ship was manufactured by the Theed Palace Space Vessel Engineering Corps. It's a customized H-type Nubian yacht. With a length of 47.9 meters, width of 8.1 meters, and height of 7.1 meters, it has no weapons but can hold a crew of one pilot, one co-pilot, two astromech droids, one navigator, and one comm scan and shield operator. The yacht is the smallest non-fighter vessel kept in the hangars of the Theed Palace. Its simplified systems reduce maintenance time, making it ideal for secretive, unsupported excursions. It's much faster than most civilian ships, and its narrow profile and sheltered engines create only a small sensor signature. Its slim, aerodynamic shape facilitates unshielded hypersonic flight in atmosphere. The coolant pump circulates a superfluid with enormous heat capacity to moderate the shield matrix during critical power spikes that cannot be radiated away quickly. The main power spine passes through the hyperdrive core. Complex magnetic ducts guide the ion stream past intruding landing gear housing. It's equipped with a traditional Naboo handcrafted bed with a throne at the bed foot. A tube containing a turbo lift platform connects upper and lower decks for fast access. And of course, in case of emergency, a particle flare launcher.